Good morning, PopTech. I'm the CEO and founder of Switchboard, and we're working to transform patient care in African countries by using the mobile phone that nearly every health worker is already carrying in their pocket. My first experience in rural Africa was in Ghana nearly a decade ago. I was traveling with a girlfriend that ended up getting sick in an isolated rural area. To get help, I did what most people do. I walked 10, mil 10 miles to the nearest clinic where there are 30 people waiting in line for a single lone health worker. This is the experience of most patients in African countries, but also the daily reality for most practitioners. With only two years of clinical training after high school, most health workers practice alone in isolated clinics, serving a population of anywhere between 5,000 and 150,000 people, diagnosing complex cases, performing emergency procedures with only basic equipment, and managing disease outbreaks when alerts or lab results take two months to reach them. But there are actually people out there that are there for support. This is Dr. Namala. He's a pediatrician at Muhambili National Hospital in Tanzania. He told us of a story when he exchanged phone numbers with one of these rural health workers, a clinical officer. Weeks later, he received a call from this clinical officer who had a patient exhibiting symptoms she had never seen before. It was a young boy who was curled up in a ball. Through a five-minute phone conversation, Dr. Namala asked a series of questions. Are the child's lips and gums blue? Are the child's fingers swollen? And he was able to diagnose that the young boy was experiencing a tet spell, the sign of a congenital heart defect. A five-minute phone call likely saved that child's life. So after hearing countless stories like this, we decided to scale this model of local support, and now we're building the largest network of practitioners in the developing world. Now, how do we do that? Because most of these health workers already have mobile phones, we make it easy for them to register via mobile, and we collect the phone number of every health worker. Then we compile this information into a health worker directory so that practitioners can connect with other practitioners across the country um, sharing advice. Finally, we partner with mobile network operators to create free nationwide calling networks so that rural practitioners can communicate with urban doctors and specialists um, completely free of charge, whether they're seeking advice or referring patients. We've partnered with Vodafone and MTN to network all the doctors in Ghana and Liberia on free calling networks. There have been over four million calls between practitioners so they're all working together to improve patient care. While Vodafone in Ghana has only 18% market share, they have 100% of the physicians. So as doctors make paid calls to friends and family that are not practitioners, they're generating millions in revenue um, for our partner telecoms. We've generated over 1.5 million in revenue um, in Ghana, and that's on a network of only 2,200 physicians. So that's how we're able to scale. In Tanzania, we're going to be connecting 6,500 rural medical and clinical officers to more than 2,500 urban doctors and specialists. This network of 9,000 practitioners will form the largest network of health workers in the developing world, with nearly every facility connected. The free calling network provides the critical incentive for health workers to register their information, and then once we have the mobile phone number of every health worker, not only can we connect them to one another, but then we can also scale other mHealth interventions nationwide instantly. So Switchboard and the Ministry of Health can communicate with a nationwide network of health workers all in real time. There was a randomized control trial in Kenya that showed that two daily text messages to health workers improved patient care by nearly 25%. Simple interventions can have profound impact, from sending best practices to these outbreak alerts and lab results to paying health workers through M-Pesa or collecting data. This is Michael Achebang. He was the head of disease surveillance in Ghana. When we talked with him, he was actually dealing with a measles outbreak, but the paper alerts he was sending to health workers were taking weeks or months to reach them. So he started to use his own mobile phone uh, to, to alert his directors of this measles outbreak. What Switchboard wants to do is empower managers like Michael to be able to 
scale these interventions and communicate with uh, health workers all in real time across the country. Uh, so health workers across Africa are practicing alone and in the dark, but they don't have to be. So one practitioner can make an impact on thousands of patients. A network can change the lives of millions. Thank you. Woo!